went shopping. <laughs> Um, so it's been a while since I recorded a video, um, that is just kind of on me. Um, I'm gonna give kind of, this video is gonna be like a little life update, um, and a haul because I recently went shopping with my best friend, so, um, I'm gonna show you guys what I got, but... First, I'm going to give you guys kind of a little life update, let you guys know what's been going on and why I haven't really been posting. Um, for starters, I haven't really been posting because I've been kind of lazy. Um, that is the main reason. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to lie. I've just been pretty lazy. I've also been kind of going through like my own personal stuff, like mental stuff and career um crisis um just kind of figuring out what it is exactly i want to do um <clears throat> so i've been kind of dealing with that um i think the biggest thing um would be that i am really thinking of changing my career um so right now i am a vet technician um, at just a regular vet clinic. Um, I love it. I really do. Um, I've worked my way up. I've made it onto surgery and prescription stuff, which has been a dream come true. But lately I have been thinking, is it worth it? Like going through all this schooling for it and really pushing myself to do it is it gonna really be worth it in the end um <clears throat> and I do love it like don't get me wrong I love being a technician and I I think it was really good for me to have that experience and I've been doing it for so long and now I'm at the point where I kind of feel like I'm done <laughs> um I just kind of feel like that part of my life is kind of closing um and I'm to the point where I just get really agitated so easily while I'm at work now like people are annoying me and like even the animals are starting to annoy me and that's kind of why I'm thinking it would be best for me just to kind of close that part of my life because I do love animals and I love helping them and I want to continue to do that but I feel like because I'm getting to the point where I work with them every single day, I literally see them all the time and I think I'm to the point where I just need to kind of close that part and just say enough is enough. Um, I'm getting, you know, agitated with them e more easily. I get annoyed and more frustrated with animals more quickly just because I deal with them every day and I just really don't want to be like that especially with animals I want to do the best that I can to help them not to just get frustrated with them <clears throat> so I've decided that enough is enough I'm done with that portion um so I've been thinking and I think I am going to go to school for English. Um, I've been thinking about that a lot. I really do love English. I love creative writing. I love reading. I love everything about it. <clears throat> and I've been kind of thinking about being like a teacher, um, like an English teacher of some sort. I'm thinking maybe seventh grade um, or high school. So I don't know. I'm I'm excited about that too and I'm still kind of thinking about it and I'm still diving into it and I'm still kind of researching schools and um, what exactly goes into it um, but I really like it and so far I think that's kind of the route I'm gonna go into but I don't know I guess <clears throat> um, I don't know I guess we'll kind of see where that goes but I'm just gonna give myself a little bit of time to think about it research about it kind of see what happens if any of you guys are English majors or you know creative writing or anything like that please give me tips um 
and things like that that would that would really help out a lot um but yeah so because of this i think i've decided i'm gonna do this little series thing on my channel where i do a book sesh i don't know how i feel about the title yet but that's what i've been thinking about calling it it's a book sesh so I, I'm saying is I'm gonna get a super super stony baloney and I'm gonna talk to you guys about the latest books that I'm reading. Um, give you guys like a review. I'll like summarize it for you guys and then give you guys a review and then rate it. I also read some like pretty spicy books. Um, so the ones that are a little bit spicier I will put like a spice rating uh, for those and then like a five star review or whatever. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to do that, and I'm kind of very excited about it. Um, right now, I'm reading Haunting of Adeline, um, and it's so good. So if that doesn't even tell you guys what kind of books I'm interested in, I don't know what will, but I'm almost done with the first book, and then I have the second book, which I'll go through in my little haul, but... So I'm going to read both of those and then I'm going to do my like little review over it. Um, I don't know if that's going to be my first one. I did read It Starts With Us and I read It Ends With, I read both of them, It Ends With Us and It Starts With Us. Um, so I might do a review over that one before I do the review over this because those ones are not nearly as graphic as the ones I'm reading now. So I'll start it off at like at an easy pace. Um... But yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm really excited about it, and I hope you guys really like it too. Um, but so now, let's get into the fucking haul. <clears throat> okay, so me and my friend went shopping yesterday, um, and that was really fun. And it was a much needed like little shopping trip, a little day out with the girls. Um, but. We went a little, I went a little overboard. Um, I feel like I did, but kind of. We went to three different stores. We went to Barnes and Noble, Wet Nose, and then Athletic, Athletic, Athletica, Athletica, Athleta. <laughs> and we, so we went to Barnes and Noble, Wet Nose, and Athleta. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what I got there, um, at those three, but... I'm going to save my Barnes & Noble one for last. We'll start with the easy one, which is probably going to be the Athleta, which is basically just like um, a athletic store. So they have a bunch of like athletic uniforms and stuff like that. Uniforms. Athletic clothing, so like sports bras, stuff like that. This is one of those sports bras that I am wearing right now. Um, this is one of the ones that I got. It's just a plain black one, but check out the back. Home, don't even lie to me. I absolutely love the back. Um, and I loved it so much that the only other thing that I got from here is the same sports bra but in white because <laughs> I loved it so much so I got the same one in white and it's so cute here's what the back looks like when it's not on it just kind of got like these straps and it is so fucking cute and I love it uber 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 much um they are pretty pricey I will say so that's why I only got two things from here but I will for sure be going back there because they had some cute like little joggers that I liked um, and stuff like that. So I will definitely be going back. But that's all I fucking got from Athleta. Um, uh, that's all I got from them. I really like them. The fabric on them is super, super soft. Um, and it's like kind of like a velvety kind of. I don't know it feels like I don't know it's great I really like it I don't even know how to describe it um I really like it it's super comfortable and I feel like it hugs me very very well um and it supports the old TTs the next place it 
place called Wet Nose. Um, I have never heard of this place before, but my friend told me about it and she was like, it's so cute. It's basically just a store for like animals, like your little pets and stuff like that. So, um, she was like, it's super cute. And they recently moved into like a bigger area. Um, and she said that she hadn't been to that new one yet. So we stopped there and I couldn't resist. This store was adorable. I literally made friends with a doodle, a golden doodle. And it was the cutest dog in the world. And he was adorable. And I was able to give him a treat because the cashier was like, here, take the treat. And I was like, ah, take all the treats I have. Like, he was so cute. And I told Hiram about it and he was like, of course, you were gone for like an hour and you already made friends with the dog. I was like, what can I say? Um, so what I got here first, it's like this little yarn ball. Um, and I thought this would be cute for my little beagle to, like, you can put treats in here. So it's supposed to be, put, like, treats. And then they're supposed to, like, dig their nose into it. Um, and then get the treats out. So I got one of those. And I think it is so fucking cute. And I'm so excited to give it to her. Um, so I got one of those. And then this one isn't for the animals. It's more for myself. But... I thought it was really cute and it described me to a fucking T. Um, so it's just this shirt <laughs> and it says, once upon a time, there was a girl who really loved dogs and tattoos and said, fuck a lot. That was me. End of the fucking story. <laughs> I love it. I don't know. It just like, it describes me to a T. I am a dog lover. Um, I love my tattoos. I do say fuck a lot. Um, it's just the greatest shirt ever. It is kind it does seem like it's going to be kind of big on me. I got a medium. The only other one was a small. But when I looked at it, I felt like it would have been way too tight. So I was like, well, I can get a medium. And if I want to, I can always cut it. So it's a little bit shorter if I wanted, or I can just leave it big because I do like oversized stuff. So I don't know yet. I'm still deciding, but we'll kind of figure that out when it comes. But I love it so much. I'm like, this is the cutest fucking shirt ever. The only issue is, is that if I wear it in front of my dad, he's going to get mad. But whatever. I don't care. Next is the big one barnes and noble i went a little crazy at barnes and noble i'm not gonna lie um i got five books and i got a candle <laughs> um yeah i i just can't contain myself when i'm in barnes and noble usually my boyfriend's with me so harm's good at being like you can get one or two nothing more but me and my friend, we are so bad. Like, we cannot go shopping together because we will go bankrupt. Like, it's so bad. But, so here's this candle that I got. Um, It is called Enemies to Lovers. It is a vanilla orchard and jasmine. And then the, it has like a little notes error. And it says, it smells like heated fights and steamy nights. Um, and I love that because I'm definitely an enemies to lover lover. Like, I love those books and those tropes. So, it's, and it's so good. And I just love it. The, like, jasmine and vanilla are probably my two favorite. Well, fucking lavender is my favorite scent ever but vanilla and jasmine are also amazing scents and they are just super calming um and I just like how it says smells like heated fights and steamy nights like it just it's so funny like I, I don't know I really liked it but um it smells so fucking good and it is very pricey pricier than I would like to admit it says this fragrant is hard to resist. Top notes of vanilla orchard and fiery spice first appear to be at odds, 
but find harmony as the fragrance unfolds, a sweet melody of jasmine and amber wood. Bring intensity to the aurora. Aroma. Ha! <laughs> aurora. Aroma. While base notes of amber, oak moss, and opulet wood bring depths to this alluring aroma. I really fuck with it. My books. I have a bad habit of buying books that I've already read. But the thing is, is that I read them on my Kindle, and then if I like them, I buy them in paperback, because paperback is the 100, like, I will take reading paperback over reading anything, and I will read the same book over again if it means that I'm going to read it in a different version of it. Um, but, well, not like a different version, but like a different copy. Like, I'll read it on my Kindle, and then I'll also read it in paperback, because I'm like, it's different when it's really the same fucking thing. But, um, I got this Twisted Lies, which is the last book in the Twisted Love series. I have all of the other three, um, and this was the last one that I needed was Twisted Lies. I love this series so much. Eventually, I will do a book sesh on them, um, on these series because I do, I love them so much, but I want to reread them before I do a book sesh on them because of how much I love them and I just feel like if I'm gonna do a book sesh on these amazing books I am going to do it right and I am going to read it and then give my honest review and um I just have to fall in love with them all over again so and again it's all in paperback so it's a different feel it's a different vibe and if anybody out there that's like that understands I'm really, really excited for this one. So, um, and then to go along with those, I also got King of Wrath and King of Pride, um, which kind of the same universe, I guess, um, but different people. Um, I'm really excited. And look how gorgeous King of Pride looks. I'm sorry, this cover is gorgeous. I wish it didn't have this sticker on it, but you know, whatever. But uh, it's so adorable and uh, I have not read these ones yet. These ones I have not read, but I've heard very, very good things about them. So there will definitely be, it is definitely on my TBR, that's for sure. Um, and then I got, Haunting Adeline. Um, they didn't have Haunting Adeline, which is the one that I'm currently reading. So I was like, I do really like the first one, and I'm sure I'm going to like the second one as well. So I got it, and I will look out and keep my eyes peeled for the first one so that I can complete that. Um, but I did get it. I, I just love the color, or like the, the covers of these books. So I'm... I'm so excited to read these, um, to read this one, but I, I have to finish the one I'm on. I have like a hundred pages left, so I'm almost done with it. Um, this will definitely be a book sesh. Don't you fucking worry. I will be talking about these because so far, so very good. Um, but yeah, look how beautiful it is. I've heard such good things about these books. I've also heard that some people don't like them because, you know, it's a little weird, but we'll get into it when I talk about my, when I, when I talk about, when I do my book sesh on them, but I'm so excited. And then my last book, I had to get it. I have not read it yet. It is Verity by Colleen Hoover. Um, I have not, have not read these yet this one yet but I have heard like such such good things about this book um and they read it in my the book club that I'm currently in at work um I was not yet it was like right before I started like right before so I hadn't I missed it um but I am going to read it and I decided why the hell not just get it in paperback. 
fuck it. I was also with my friend who also says fuck it for everything. So I ended up getting it and honestly, I'm not ashamed about it and I'm not mad about it. I do really like it. I know that there's some controversy with Colleen Hoover and everything, but I gotta say, the shit that I've read, I have loved. Like, I've read It Ends With Us and It Starts With Us, and I love them both. I've read, um, I'm looking at my, my bookshelf over here, so that's why. I have read Reminders of Him, which is also an amazing book. But, um, I have a couple other ones on my shelves that I want to read. Um, one of them is maybe Someday by Her, which I've I haven't really heard much about it, but it is on my shelf to read. And now I have Verity, so I'm going to have to read it um, and give my honest review about it. But, alright guys, so that is everything that I got. Um, again, I know it's not that much, but the places that we went to were very pricey and... I just was like, I don't know. I was like, I need to like get some spending out. I need to just love myself. And I was with my best friend. So it just kind of happened. And I'm not ashamed about it. I'm not mad about it. I'm actually very happy about it. <laughs> um, so yeah, but I think that's going to be the end of the video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was just kind of a little life update, a little haul of stuff. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm very excited to start this new series on my channel. I hope you guys enjoy it. I really, 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 really do. I think it's going to get me really hyped. And I hope it gets you guys really hyped. Um, so, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys hopefully next week. I'm going to try to be making videos once a week. I'm really going to try to get book sessions out there. Um, if I could do it once a week, I will try my hardest. If not, I will at least do a little, like, sit-down video, maybe a little vlog. I don't know. I'll try my best to get something out to you guys every week. Um, but I'll see you guys next week. Peace, homies.